Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 10th of Feb. Uh, today is the weekly expiry. I decided to take absolutely no risk today. And um, yeah, basically what ended up happening is at one point I got very irritated during the day and I decided to kill the trade. Uh, because first of all, the risk that I was willing to take had been met. I was willing to take four points risk. That got met. After that, I decided to kill the trade. And even though the second half was very smooth, um, more or less, I just didn't take any risk. I didn't move closer. Once I killed my trade, I sold 17,700 and 17,400, both of which were 100, 100 points from what was maximum open interest, which was 17,500 on the put side and 17,600 on the uh, call side. And I just didn't want to have the headache of dealing with it. So anyway, let me get into what happened, why exactly I decided first of all to not take risks. So, we closed with a very bullish closing yesterday and we had another gap up today. Uh, after having a tremendous down move, we're just having multiple up moves and big amount of put writing into all of that. Uh, I was not comfortable at the current prices to trade this expiry, especially given that on top of everything, there's an RBI event that is going to take place. So my opening position was great. It was 17,700 uh, uh, call sell and 17,200 put sell. That was my opening position. I sold it for around uh, six and a half rupees or so. That's the price that I uh, got on it between the two legs. Now, what ended up happening? Right after the open, we had a lot of weakness. We went straight here. We tested um, uh, yesterday's close. And from there, we gave a breakdown. Now, naturally, what I uh, did into this is I rolled down my call to 17650 and 17600. This was a little bit um, definitely on the aggressive side only. Uh, but the idea was, okay, We've uh, given this and this, when you, when you look at this, most likely you can assume that open at least is going to be uh, close to the high and, um, you know, above that 17,600 uh, should be a relatively safe uh, option to sell. Now that fired, uh, backfired very quickly uh, because from where I sold it for around uh, 9 rupees, it very quickly blew up. I covered around 15. Right. So just 10 minutes later, I covered around 15. I rolled up to 17,650, which I sold for 5 rupees. And once again, this I had to cover around, uh, yeah, I had to cover around 12 and uh, 5. Now, in this whole time, you have to also understand, I did not have any credit from my put side as such. So I moved up my put to 17,250. That had about uh, uh, 6 rupees of credit or whatever. So it's just that the call just kept going up. And um, yeah, I didn't have any put set credit to help me. So I got a little bit irritated and sort of frustrated by, by this sinusoidal move that took place. Like, I mean, this is a very rare. You don't, you don't see like you open gap up and then from there you sell off how many 120 points and then, and then you instantly make, I mean, of course this comes with the fact that there's an event. Um, regardless, got screwed that side and my risk for the day was about four points. So four points puts me at 80,000 negative. At that point decide, okay, enough. Uh, kill the trade, completely exited, um, kill the trade, yeah, kill the trade around 11 o'clock and said, okay, I'm going, I'm going to sit on about, uh, I think at that point of time, um, 10 points of credit and just trail a stop loss on that. And that's more or less what I did towards the end. I moved up to 17,500. Um, and that was the end of the day. Yeah. So, I mean, relatively, I mean, this expiry, I guess the second part could have been quite straightforward, but the premiums were really not that high. And once I'm not in the best state of mind, so I want to always be in a very robotic state when you're trading, like you want to keep a very robotic state. My idea was that, okay, this particular level from here, this should hold on the upside. Um, it did one, two, three times, then potentially here, there was a threat once again, if we had a breakout. So I just wasn't comfortable. I mean, one, once you know that your your mindset is uh, uh, spoiled, then especially that time you should not take risk. Yeah, very possibly I could have tried for a, a big play uh, once this pullback had come in. You know, I, it would have been relatively straightforward to trade this range, but that's all hindsight. All I know is that I got irritated at that point of time and I'm bound to make a mistake. So uh, if, I, if you see in my tweet also, my uh, initial tweet said, I'll take four points of risk. In case that four points of risk is met, I'll kill the trade and then come out of it at break even, which is exactly what um, I followed. So I'm happy with it overall. Today was not specifically my day to make money. Uh, so that, that's about it. Yeah. But apart from that, I hope you guys had a really good expiry. I think people would have been very happy with the close, like especially the last 
second half and even the final close lot of lot of people with 17600 straddle they would have done really well so uh, yeah they happy for them but this was not day for me to make money but you know such days you just try not to lose money and that's fine so thank you so much for watching i hope you had a good trading day and uh, i will catch you at the next one